Did you know we've all been installing NVIDIA drivers incorrectly? Well, in this video, we're actually going to show you the proper way to do it and reduce system load in the process. Let's get on the desktop and get into it. Now I'm going to start with TCP view and actually just show you all the different things. I have a regular install here with NVIDIA GeForce and I do the upgrades as they send them out and all this stuff. But if we come down into here and we look for NVIDIA style drivers, and we'll just go ahead and filter the module by NVIDIA, you can see NV container and all the way to here, probably about 14, 15 processes. And you can see several of them, the web helpers and also this NV container, all of them are communicating outside and sending data constantly between here and NVIDIA which is not good. And you can see where it's actually sending right there in the actual NVIDIA container. Those IPs are outside my network. That's not cool. So let's see if we can't modify these drivers to one, remove all this bloat, but two, do we really need all these processes running from NVIDIA? And spoiler, no, we don't. So let's start off with actually removing all our existing NVIDIA drivers. Now for uninstalling graphics drivers, I highly recommend Display Driver Uninstaller. This is a fantastic tool, something that you can uninstall any driver, whether it's Intel, AMD, or Nvidia. And I highly recommend it. It gets more than what their uninstallers do. So it's very important. So I'm just gonna extract this. We're gonna send all this to just the downloads and then we're gonna run DDU to get rid of everything. So we'll just go right click and I'm gonna run this as administrator. Typically, DDU will want to be run as admin. Also, it wants safe mode. So if you do have problems, you might boot into safe mode. You can hold shift as you restart. That's how you get to safe mode but uh, I, I'm not actually gonna do that. We're just gonna remove all of physics. We're gonna remove the whole bit. So we're gonna go ahead, hit okay, select our device type, and we're just gonna say GPU and Nvidia. So then we're gonna just do a clean and restart. All right, now it's restarting. Uh, usually that uninstall process takes about a minute or two. All right, we're back on our desktop here. <laughs> it obviously does not look good, but that's because we don't have any drivers installed. So we're going to open up my browser again, and then I'm just going to open up recently closed and going to actually show you something called NV Clean Install. And what this does is it lets you customize the GeForce graphics card drivers to exclude telemetry and a whole bunch of other stuff like stereo 3D glasses or USB-C compatibility. If you're not using you know, an Oculus or something like that, you, you probably don't need a lot of this stuff. So why install that component of the driver and also run the service or process associated with it? Answer is you probably shouldn't. That's why we've been installing our drivers wrong. So let's go ahead and install NVIDIA Clean Install. We'll just download this and install it. All right, now we have this and you can see our graphics card hardware is red. It says the current driver is not in and we can easily just select install the best driver for me or if you wanna manually select a different version of a driver, you can easily have it all at your fingertips. Best part here is it has way more features than GeForce Experience, but also none of the headaches. I don't need to sign into my Google account or sign into my NVIDIA account if you created that, it's just, kind of a pain in the butt and also it's not constantly checking for updates in the background i just run this when i want to upgrade my drivers but if you're one of those people that like to be contacted every single time a driver gets released by all means check that box so then we're just going to look at all the different things that we might want physics we might actually want hd audio through the hdmi probably going to want that as well and then you can look at all these other ones right here most of this, I don't want. I don't want any of it, actually. And you can see NVIDIA container. Look at how much this stuff is needed. And I don't want any of that. I don't want the driver update. I don't want the host controller. I don't, I, none of this. I don't want a process monitor. All this junk comes with their drivers. And really, we just want these top three things, at least for me, to play my games. Honestly, Visual C++, 
probably should check that. You should already have that. It's required for many games, but I, I'd go ahead and tick that. But the rest of this, I think I'm just going to leave off, and let's see what happens. And if you select minimal, that's that one. If you do recommend it, it's these two. So that's that's all we really need. Now on this download, I will say it's going extremely fast, and I think they're they're connecting directly with NVIDIA, just grabbing the components that we need and not this in giant driver that we normally grab. Because the regular NVIDIA driver is about 500 to 600 megs. All right. And then we just want to disable installer telemetry and advertising. And we can do a clean install, but we already just did that with DDU. And that's it. Let's just go ahead and hit next. And install. And then I'm just going to go ahead and flip through this. I'm curious to see what... Let's go ahead and do custom. Let's see what it says. Wow, oh, look at that. Yeah, it just shows these three things. All right, cool. All right, I'm going to close this and close this. Wow, that was really, really easy. I'm going to go ahead and give it a reboot as I want to see what happens once this thing completely restarts and if all of those processes come back, because we're gonna pull this up and we're gonna see what's installed now. All right, we're back in TCP view after the reboot, and we're just gonna go with module name, scroll down to NVIDIA, and hot dog, look at that. About 14 processes, it's not even, it doesn't even have an NVIDIA process running anymore. There's no NV container, there's no NV web helper, it's done. It's not communicating and not doing anything. Obviously, this is a problem. Look at all those Razer devices, but that's a video for another day. So there we go. That's how to correctly install a NVIDIA driver. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Let me know if you like this video, give it a like. And uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you on the next one.